Welcome to Data Structures with Professor Caitlin. Today I want to talk about C++ with linked lists and what impact our C++ language has on coding our linked lists. So there are two big differences from Java that actually affect our linked list code. One of those is pointers. We don't have references. We have reference variables, but we don't use them. They're not what we get from new. So we have to use pointers for our linked lists. The second one is that we don't have a garbage collector. C++ trusts us. It expects us to clean up after ourselves. And that's going to have an impact. So what's the impact of the pointers? This is really all about the syntax. We need node star for a pointer instead of just node, which of course wouldn't be a reference. It would be just an object. And then we need to use the arrow notation instead of the dot notation, because we are using a pointer and not an object or reference. So this is what a node class might look like in C++. So differences from what you might see in other languages, uh, where key difference is this pointer. We're going to have a node star next, not a node next, of course, or a node ampersand for a reference. Next, we need that node star. And then, of course, one nice thing about C++ is that we can have a single constructor using our default arguments, where something like Java would need three separate constructors. Of course, in C++, we might choose to make this a struct. The advantage there, of course, is that things are public by default, which is typically what we would want. In terms of using this, in terms of all the rest of the code, the class and the struct versions are going to be exactly the same. You may see some older code that has struct node instead of just node, but you don't need the struct in modern C++. So insertion code, assuming that I have a temporary variable pointing at the node before the one where I want to insert, we're going to be creating a pointer to a node or creating a node but using a pointer to it to reference it. So node star insert node is assigned new node six, and then I've gone ahead and passed the next in as a parameter, temp arrow next. And then we're going to have to set temp arrow next to that insert node. Similar change is needed for adding to the beginning. So node star insert node gets new node, to pointing at head, head gets insert node, or just head gets new node to head. But again, the difference is simply we're using the pointer. We think about searching a linked list, very similar code overall, except that we've got the pointers everywhere. So public node star search list, if what we're doing is returning that node, node star head if we're passing in the head pointer, node star cur node gets head, while cur node and now this is one of those advantages. Remember, we don't have to say cur node is not equal to null pointer. We can just say cur node because C++. Then cur node arrow data is not equal to val to find. Then cur node gets cur node arrow next. So not many changes, but important ones. The dot will be a syntax error in all of these cases. Not using the star after the node will cause you real problems because you're then referencing objects and not addresses for objects. Of course, the other issue is the memory management impacts. We have to make sure that we take care of freeing whatever memory was used by things we take out of that linked list. And when we're done with the linked list, we really need to go clean it all up and delete all those nodes. This is really going to impact deletion. So if we delete in Java or any other language where there's a garbage collector, then all we need to do is make sure we're pointing at the following node instead of the one that we're deleting, and we're good to go. But in C++, we need to make sure that we keep track of that node we just deleted and we call delete on it. So node star 
delete node gets temp arrow next would be the same as it would be, except for the syntax. Temp next gets delete node next. So now that node before the node we're deleting, it's pointing at the node after the node we're deleting. But then we have to add the delete delete node so that we actually clean up that node we just pulled out of the list. So this means that we cannot cheat and do something like temp arrow next gets temp next next. Because if we did that, then we have no reference to the node we just deleted and we have a memory leak. So I hope this helps you a little bit as you look at applying C++ to the problem of working with linked lists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.